Okay, now in this video I'm going to show you how we can make a small uh, multimeter with an LCD display output uh, with the big microcontroller. Uh, as you can see this here reads uh, millivolts. Uh, where does the uh, end with this potentiometer? I changed voltage in uh, the input of the AD converter and as you can see now it changes uh, on the LCD display. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna use the AD converter and LCD interfacing uh, on this project. So I hope you watched that in my previous uh, videos. Let's get started. Okay, now here you can see the schematic of the program that which I showed you in the beginning of the video. So I have an LCD display out uh, over here, uh, connected like this, like in my previous videos where I showed you. Uh, you know, it's I don't know, it's tutorial number six or number seven, and I here have a potentiometer which goes on the input of the analog module of the big. Uh, 16F887. Uh, I just put a voltmeter here so we can measure the voltage that we bring into the uh, big microcontroller. Uh, I didn't put the oscillator over here because uh, in Protoss it would work without it. And uh, yeah, so when I start the program over here, it says first voltmeter, then it measures the millivoltage. Uh, for your own project you can do it on voltage with the decimal places if you want. And here uh, I have potentiometer which is used as a voltage divider. So when I go closer up here it takes uh, more resistance and the uh, voltage drop is gonna be higher. So here I have uh, 3198 uh, millivolts and I have here 3.2 uh, volts. It just means that uh, I caught one bit. Uh, you know, the resolution you, you have 10,024, so you can't uh, be that much accurate. You have to, uh, if you want, put another AD converter, which I'm gonna uh, do it in my later uh, courses, a 12 bit AD converter uh, to a big microcontroller. Uh, but it, of course that is gonna be a little bit later and that's not important right now so when I go up here when I take the resistance of 100 it should go about 5 volts and uh, when I go uh, all uh, down over here it should go to zero because then I'm connected to the ground and yeah zero here zero over here and that's it. Uh, this potentiometer over here is just for the contrast of the LCD. It, uh, in Protoss it doesn't uh, make any sense because it doesn't react to it, but um, in real life it does. And I just put it here because this is how I, uh, it's connected on my development board. So yeah, this is the uh, project. Now let's go to the uh, code. Okay, so here I have the code. This only is uh, here uh, for the LCD connections. If any point in your project you have uh, uh, you have trouble, then go to help, and you, yeah, and you can click. Uh, you know, you can find things that you want to see over here, uh, like uh, the libraries of the uh, software. So in this particular, we used. Uh, LCD library so yeah if you have any problems you can always look at it you don't have to go on the internet micro uh, electronica made it really really good I, I, I just enjoy uh, doing the I, I there's not many uh, programs or things in engineering that I enjoy but this uh, of course is uh, one of those things that I really enjoy uh, working on so if you have any problems you can always go to their help library so let's go to the code so this is just the connection of course you if you have another development board just you know use it uh, use them 
uh, to like uh, if you have on port D, you know, if your development board is connected to a port D uh, for the LCD, you just uh, have to, you know, uh, write R D instead of B for or wherever it is. You just have to make sure that uh, in the main program you uh, make uh, the connection all digital and if there is any comparator you have to disable it okay so this is just the lcd connection over here like i, I like a head over here uh, this d4 d5 d6 d7 is data rs and d is used uh, re read write over here is always grounded and this is the power supply okay that's not important for this project now let's go to the main program main part okay so this is where the program starts now look at this i put two values uh, i put two variables called v input and millivolts and this is long so long is a number uh, it, it can be a decimal number which i don't know in what range from minus uh, 10 to the 38 to plus 10 to the 38 it's a huge uh, range of numbers so that's just a number we'll see you, why i put that you can also if you want put another uh, variable now i have a character called result and it, it is i just put it in arrays over here that is uh, 12 12 uh, war, 12 letters uh, long and i have one called character string we'll say later why why i did uh, this okay so now i put ansel is equal to one so ansel equal to one means that here ra0 is going to be configured to uh, an analog input output pin so that's just it that's why i put ansel one uh, all others are zero, but they are not important uh, to me in this project. It, they are configured as digital. I don't have any problems with that. And uh, Ansel H is equal to zero. Uh, Ansel H uh, is referred uh, on this particular point from RB0 to RB5. And of course, that is uh, what I told you about the LCD. You need to convert them into digitals, if digital input output pins, if you want to use uh on the specific port so you can uh you can try to put uh an lcd on port d for uh practice and i can uh, so i configure this uh port uh as digital so that's basically it now and uh trice a is an input so i have i put a value on ra0 so it is an input i don't give it send something out to the outside world that i bring something from the outside world to the big microcontroller so i put this particular pin as an input okay uh, so first the lcd initialize so this is uh, basically this function over here just initializes the LCD, it clears it and uh, it clears the cursor. But then I uh, write down voltmeter. Uh, I don't know if you remember when I start the program, it uh, it reads. Oh, sorry, I just said pause it. It reads the voltmeter and that is for two seconds. Yeah, so delay MS two seconds. So that is not. Uh, not nothing uh, 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 unusual then I have a while loop so this is a forever loop and then I have LCD command so this is the display is gonna be cleared I don't know if you see after two seconds it is cleared and then it writes millivolts let's go to that part now V input is a, a number long number and it reads the input of on the uh, on the uh, on the port uh, on the pin ra0 so it's gonna be uh, one number between uh, 0 and 1024 
so this here is just reading uh, the value of the uh, outside word and converts it into a digital uh, value now I have LCD out and it is it, it's like this uh, on the first row and the first column I have millivolts is equal to and that's it on the fifth uh, fifth uh, space or here on the fifth uh, column over here I don't have anything there uh, I will put the value of the uh, uh, of the voltage uh, from port uh, from R RA0 now I have another uh, long which is equal to millivolts so this here uh, I have V input times 5000 divided by 1024 why did I did this because this here is going to be a value between 0 and 1024 and for example if I have 5 volts on the input uh, of the RA0 then this is going to be equal to 1024 so here I will have 1024 times 5000 divided by 1024 and that is equal to uh, 5000 5, millivolts and so that is why I first multiply V input with 5000 if you want to get in volts then you just uh, uh, you have to uh, multiply V input with 5 so you can do that as a practice but I uh, I will read the millivolts okay so this here just converts the digital value into a, 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 a into an analog value I mean it read so this here digitally reads what is on the input and this will read the voltage now I have another function called long to string uh, why because I cannot uh, write this uh, directly into the library lcd output comment i need to convert this long value into a string or a character uh, so this is the value long to string that converts a long value into a string and this here millivolts uh, comma result means that this value long will convert it as a character which we specified here now this here result is gonna uh, be a character which can i put which i can put into a uh, lcd output however i do not want to do that yet because it could be a long value so i used another character string that is equal to uh, so this is a function that will uh, re get rid of all the spaces that are not used in this particular character so let me just show you if I go out here and click I'll trim so I'll trim is a function so if I have something like this over here uh, quotation marks and I have empty space over here this function is gonna get rid of these empty spaces over here so that's why uh, I had to put two characters so this here I have a value of the millivolts without any white spaces and here on the LCD out first row uh, and sixth column I will write the value over here the character value so that's why I put here an empty space uh, of course uh, it could be also on the fifth column you just have to look at it uh, in the program and then I have a delay of one uh, second which can which I can make for example 100 milliseconds so it could be a lot better but you know it's okay for me uh, if it, it, it if it's that long to the delay uh, if that's uh, how much is gonna take it to rate another uh, value so yeah that is it uh, for this video i hope you learned something uh, you can download the code in the description of my video i'll put the download link and uh, thanks for watching and see you in my next 
video. Uh, goodbye and have a nice, I don't know, day.